Yo, what's going on guys? Future Artist is back with another tutorial and this time I'm gonna be doing one over this cloud burst effect. There's two versions of it. You can easily change between them by just changing one setting only. Let me show you one version. Okay, so this is the first version. It's just a bunch of smoke and cloudy-ish effect that just pops out after he shoots if you look. As you guys can see right after he shoots all that smoke comes out looks like a bunch of clouds or whatever I call it the cloud burst I don't know smoke burst whatever you want to call it and there's another version I made which is a bit colorful not really co like darkish I don't know. the only difference is just changing the blending mode but yeah guys let's get right into the tutorial and I've got the um composition all set up I made it a uh, 60 FPS I grabbed this clip off of one clip contest you can um, I'll probably link the one if you wanna have this exact clip because I'll put this composition I mean this uh, project file in the description for you guys to download just in case you're too lazy to make the effect and just wanna like copy and paste it to make it a preset or something alright to start off find the part where the guy shoots and so not when he shoots but like right when the scope comes out after he shoots, so right here. So what I did was just uh, place a marker there. I duplicated the clip and placed a marker there, and then I put another marker right before like he um, scopes in, like a few frames before he scopes in, which is right around here. So I also put another marker there, and also put another marker like maybe like two seconds like I did here. It's like, like only one second maybe, or like two seconds, depends on how long you want the effect to last. And so, first thing you're gonna have to add is turbulent displace. And what I do for turbulent displace is put, first off, put a keyframe a few frames before he starts to shoot. And I, like, I keyframe the amount and the size. I put the um, amount on like, uh, let's see, 4,444 just something random like that big it has to be a big number something so um, like the clips all cut up into pieces and I'll put the size into like uh, maybe like a thousand and what I also like to do is um, put the complexity at 10 and what I do next is go to the next keyframe I mean the next marker and keyframe it um, with the settings being 222 on the amount and 111 on the size what I do now is go to our last marker, put a like uh, 777 or like 666 on the size. So after doing that, what I put in is glow. Just type in glow and just scroll down. There we go, glow. And the settings for this will be to first put the threshold at 100. Keyframe it at 100 from um, right over here here and then what you're gonna do is put the radius at 111 and uh, intensity at 11 put the original colors to A and B colors change that to that and the triangles to um I mean this setting the triangle B over A over B it's not really a big difference I don't know I just made it like this and that's how I used it but I'm pretty sure it won't really make a big impact and what I did was just put like a grayish blue um, color right here and then a little darker white not too gray but just a bit gray and then what I did afterwards was I went to the next keyframe and I put it at like a uh, 42 maybe and then I go all the way to the last keyframe and I put it at like 92 yeah, like, and then what I do afterwards is, um, right now it looks really odd, it does not look like what we want at all, it's freaking weird as heck. So, to like, smoothen all of this out and crap, what I do is put in camera lens blur, just smack that on here. First what I always do is check on repeat edge pixels, or it's gonna be like a little border where it's not blurred at all. And what I do next is put the blur radius to 22. And that's about it for this. The only step left is just changing the layer mode. And what I put it to is um, soft light. 
And actually, that's not all. I actually forgot to uh, sh change the opacity to make the smoke go away. Put a keyframe in the beginning and put it to zero. I know it's not really noticeable, but I just start off with zero. And I go to the second marker, which was right after he shoots, and put it at 100. And then we go to the marker, the last marker, which was like almost a second afterwards, and put that to 100, keyframe that as well. And a few frames, maybe like half a second afterwards, put the opacity to zero to make all the smoke disappear. And that's basically it, how to make the cloud burst effect. You could also, um, to change it to the other way I showed, which was a bit more like darker and like more colorful-ish, what I did was just change the layer mode. Instead of soft light, I put it to difference, and there you go. That's about it, guys. And you can mess around, add your own twist to it, maybe mess around with the keyframes. Like, if you don't um, want to use the specific length I used, you can make it like shorter burst, like a shorter time it takes to burst, or like longer, whatever. And yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have, make sure to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave some suggestions on any other tutorials. I'm thinking of doing like a uh, warpy text tutorial or whatever, like what I put behind my text, where it's like all warpy and crap, sometimes I use that. And yeah, just leave some suggestions, make sure you leave a like if this helped out. And I'll also leave two video links, one for uh, the f first version of the cloud burst and second version of the cloud burst just in, just in case you want to see it like in HD instead of like the preview I showed in the beginning and I'll also leave a project file with uh, the two videos as well just I don't know if you wanted to um, download it but yeah guys that's about it see ya